So flat face triggers versus curved triggers, which one do I prefer? Well, for the case of most handguns, I prefer a flat face trigger. And the reason why I say that is if we look at most handguns, they feature a hinge style trigger. Doing a little uh, physics here, torque is equal to force times radius. So really when you have that flat face trigger, you're able to cheat a little bit, you're able to increase that radius component and therefore reduce your force component, which essentially makes the trigger pull appear wider. So for the case of this flat face trigger here, if I were to pull this trigger, my finger would be at the very bottom of that with a very high R value and thereby reducing the force value. This curve trigger here, my finger will naturally go to the center of this and therefore we're gonna have less R value, more F value. And essentially that is a good way to make a trigger appear lighter. For the case of a 1911, it's not hinged, so that doesn't really matter for the 1911. And we all know flat face triggers look better than curved triggers.